Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So again, it's been a little while. I have not been doing as well as I would have liked to with vlogging or with actually making sit down videos. This has just been like the craziest fall season for me and I don't see it getting better. <laughs> um, so today I'm here to do a much overdue video and that is for the Sip Spy box that I got beginning of October. So this is the October box. They have new packaging, which is really, really cute. I love it. It's got the little hearts and um, bud leaves and it's just really cute. Um, so let's get into this. I have already opened this obviously because it's the end of October at this point. What I wanted to do first is to talk about the teas from last month. I have in my bullet journal a little place where I wrote down my thoughts, if I can find it, there we go. So I wrote down my thoughts in my bullet journal about the four teas. Now I will go ahead and absolutely admit that I did not try one of them. That was the hibiscus tea that came in that big bag that was for seeping for um, cold tea. I didn't try that one just because we're kind of out of the cold tea season at this point and I don't do a lot of cold tea drinking in the first place. So I just put that one aside. I may get to that next summer. I don't know. Wasn't super interested in that one in the first place. Not a huge loss. The other teas. So of the other three teas, the one I liked the most was the honeymoon tea. That one, um, it was kind of like Carney and Sons Paris. That's what it reminded me of. And it was a little more floral, a little less bergamot on that one as far as comparison to Harney and Sons Paris. So I liked that one. Um, it wasn't very overwhelming. It was just a nice comforting tea. So that one was really good. I would definitely recommend it. The other two, the, I think it's the Berber and Purple Rain. I'm looking at the titles here because I put them there. Um, I did forget to put descriptions so I remember which one was which. Um, the Berber was the one that was more of a Moroccan mint. It wasn't overly minty, so I did enjoy it because I've always, I've said multiple times I'm not a big fan of mint. Uh, I gave it, they have like a rating system, so I gave it three hearts um, as far as like it was just okay. It wasn't the best. Um, not something I typically reach for, but this one was better than a lot of other Moroccan mints that I've had. So if you're into Moroccan mint, it's a good one. Uh, the Purple Rain one, that one tastes like a watered down version of Bear Trap from David's Tea, except that Bear Trap is caffeine free, whereas this one has caffeine in it. Um, so I liked that because I do like Bear Trap. It's one of the few David's Teas that I actually do like. Um, this one, so it was like fruity candy like tea. Um, it was good. So overall, I thought that it was a pretty good box and I was excited to see what I got next. So that's where this box comes in. If I can get it open. Okay. So as we can see, October teas and I'm a little late on that. Um, but these, this is the one, I feel like so far there's been one that I've not been really excited about. This is the one that I'm not excited about and it's pumpkin spice chai. I don't like any kind of pumpkin spice drinks. So this is absolutely not up my alley. I'm hesitant to even try it just because I know I'm not going to like it. Um, so I may save it and let one of my tea drinking friends that likes this kind of thing have this because yeah, just not up my alley at all. They of course have these little bags which I have to say have become my new favorite thing. I have definitely been using them at work. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, so this is this drawstring bag is actually a reusable tea bag, but inside are a bunch of little drawstring tea bags. If I can get one out. And I love them. So they're drawstring tea bags with the little sips by tags, and it's just like the most convenient thing ever, and I love it. The next one is from West China Tea Company, and it's called Rain Butter, I think is what that says. And this one I am super interested in. So this is, it says, this tea has been aged seven years, giving it a mature, earthy flavor with macadamia and hazelnut notes. Elevate your experience by brewing or learning to brew gung fu style, which I would love to have 
I would love to do that. Anyways, so this sounds exactly up my alley and I'm probably gonna go make some of it right after this video because yeah, this is 100% my kind of thing. Um, it is a shoe pure tea, so it's not, is it a pure? Maybe, I don't know. It's not like the cake kind, I don't know. Very excited, very, very excited about that one. Um, the next one is from Rishi Teaser and this one is okay so this one is turmeric and turmeric and mango so tropical take on turmeric featuring luscious and juicy sri lankan mango tangy sweet pineapple fragrant yuzu citrus peel and exotic top notes of jasmine and camphor lime this i don't know about <laughs> so it says low caffeine i'm just really concerned <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I'm really concerned. So this is what it looks like. There's the back of it. It, I'm not sure about the whole turmeric thing. So I'm definitely going to try it. I'll keep you posted because that one really kind of scares me, but I guess that's what this is about. Trying different things, even if they scare you. And then this one is Sage Rose White Tea by by White, W-I-G-H, Tea Company. So that's what this one looks like. And this one is Low Caffeine, a soothing, nourishing blend of both savory and floral. Sage is antioxidant rich, anti-inflammatory, and helps digestion, memory, and congestion. That's good to know. Um, this one, I, I, like, I tend to like sage teas. They aren't something I reach for all the time. But I liked the last one that, did the last one have sage in it? I've had a tea recently that had sage and rose in it and I liked it a lot. So I also really like the packaging of this company's tea. So that's always a plus. I like fun packaging. So that is it for this month's tea subscription from Steep Spy. I will leave again the links down below as well as the discount code because I do have a discount code for you guys. Um, and as I said before in the other video, which um, if you do want to know more about the process of signing up for it, I will link the other video as well because that gives you a little bit more detail on how they know your preferences. It's really cool. Spoiler alert. Um, but this box and that, well, that box I paid for, this box was one that was sent to me by the company and they gave me a discount code for you guys. So. I'll put all that information in the down bar and I would love to hear if you guys check it out which teas you get uh, because this is so much fun. I just like getting tea samples in the mail and I feel like this is just the right amount for one month and it doesn't overwhelm you with a whole lot of tea. So yes. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I hope to bring you more videos in the near future and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you next time.